Welcome back, everybody, to Pretentious Attention! Oh, God damn it, I forgot to open my beer again. Don't pay attention to that sound. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go... I think we're gonna go talk to some people. I think I can, like, turn him in, but I kinda wanna just let him fucking be a crazy person. Cops don't admit it. The Eclipse sisters run this area. Ooh, and they won't let me in here anymore either. Weird. Okay. Miranda looking fine as always. I wanted to be a just a car when I was young. Never a sorry dad, I guess. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. You also, dumb bitch. Merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? No, what's it worth to you? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. Whoa, fuck off. A pleasure doing business. Nine thou. Nine thousand credits. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. She just shows her vagina right there. To leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths. The third oath of subsumation. Oh, yeah. Your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. It's just like By the code bad shit, service, shepherd shooter. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I know you can have sex with her in the game too, but uh... I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Now you have to do whatever I tell you. I am sworn to you. Do not make more of it than that. Shall we return to your ship? Let's go. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah we, we gotta get back on here anyways. But uh, I think I'm gonna go get Thrain just cause we're here on Ilios anyways. I think I might just like stop by and see some people, you know? Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. With what we're planning, we need all the experienced people we can get. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Goddamn, everything in this goddamn galaxy is a good butt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, people of the jury, I honestly am just going to spend most of this episode 
talking to people that I have ignored for like the past five to twelve episodes. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Why don't you refresh my memory? Personally, led a team, created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies, restabilized Krogan population. Nice job. I could see why Cerberus brought you on board. Very difficult, yes. Complex work to stabilize population. Mistake could have wiped out species. Glad to see you understand. Had to be done. The Krogan would be a danger to the whole galaxy if the genophage was cured. Exactly. Best solution for everyone, even Krogan. Can discuss more later. More pressing issue now. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. <gasps> oh, I love the fact that I actually remember that. Erdnot? That's Rex Erdnot from fucking Still Mass Effect 1. Chanka Shepherd. My students being held by Blood Pack. I'll talk to you later, Morton. We'll be here if you need me. <laughs> Ooh, weapons upgrade. But we need ship enhancements. Review. Ooh, I do not have any of the things for this. Some machine gun damage. Let's do it. Mm, let's review. That's amazing. Get it. Shouldn't be anything in here. And Jacob's gonna have the same thing. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna go." I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. I'm more interested in just talking. Ready? I'm not big on forcing these talks. All right. Goodbye. 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 We've got shit to do. Jacob Kelly. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Oh Commander, shit! How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked. How do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back. I'd embrace you. Now that's an enticing. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. God damn it, Kelly, we will! How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. No new messages. We gotta go- we gotta go talk to fucking... Seth Green. Chris from Family Gay. with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... Uh, you won't understand unless you meet her. Cowboy Bebop guy, man. Fucking love him. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? Get everyone at the same store or something? <sighs> I assume everything is going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. I don't want to hear another word about anything except standard duty. Am I clear? Of course, Shepard. Joker. Clear? Yeah, yeah. Can't believe this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. 
Give me those renegades. Oh, can they? Shepard, you can sprint for all of like five meters. That's fucking terrible. No, no. Oh shit, I made a mistake. I'm not on a different level. <laughs> I didn't believe. Uh, crew. I gotta go see that fucking fish I bought too. This Samara's. I lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the. Fuck ship. off! God. Can you just like imagine like you're like, oh man, I gotta take a shit. And then you walk in and someone's sitting right here, just staring at you. Access to life support is restricted. It's fucking crazy. Oops. There she is. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Mm. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Do you have any suggestions about using I some of them? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Show me what it would take. Ooh! I don't have that! <laughs> Shit! Wait, I want to talk. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. That's some loyalty mission right there. I, say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. The actress has a, like... I don't know how to put this. She uses her lips and her throat... <laughs> very much to enunciate and to make her like uh, to make the sounds that are required in English and that's very weird to me so you can hear it right now I'm gonna now that now that I'm playing it I really want you to listen to how she makes the K sounds and how she makes her P sounds like the P and the B and the K the, it's weird follow me on this it sounds weirder than what Shepard's doing because she's using them excessively. And I think it's part of the actor, but it's also amazing because this is the first, like, uh, uh, alien that we've had that sounds weird to me, but I just can't quite pin it, and I love it. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? 
I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. I didn't notice it until now. It's very, very strange almost, actually. But I love it. It's the first it's the first alien I've talked to in the game where I've been like, ooh, there's something off about how they talk to me. And that in, that in itself is actually kind of cool. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. Those are bomb ass titties. Sorry. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? I would have liked to convince Niket. I still don't know why he betrayed me. I regret that it came to that, but I did what I had to do. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me. Which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. Feels like she's the hotter, younger version of you. You know where she is. You can get in touch if you change your mind. It would be a mistake. I'd be risking her safety for my own selfish reasons. No better than my father. It was never a temptation until I saw her. I'll just have to keep my distance. Mm. Mm. Do I go for the I'm pretty sure this will get me laid or the uh, more in character RPG RPG Let me know if I can do anything else I think I got it from here My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location But thank you commander my sister is safe again. Thanks in large part <clears throat> to you I won't forget that mm -hmm. No, you won't. No paragon points. Don't give me those fucking paragon points. God damn it. Get those fucking shit out of here. Hey. Hey. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Look at this. Look at this bed. Look at this couch. Look at this empty crawl space into the ship. We can do it anywhere, Miranda. Anywhere. Where's Dr. Chowloss? Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collector. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. God, I just... I bought you whiskey and you're fucking useless to me. The AI core is restricted. Ah, uh, bam! Get me into Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade? A few, yeah. Here. Thanix cannon, do it. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. What can you tell the me? The weapons about upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of it just might give us a chance. Ooh, sorry, to sorry, us. sorry. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. I love you. I love you, Garrus. Yeah, baby. It's finally one. I know I haven't done a whole lot besides. But I gotta go talk to Jack. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Hello. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop. I don't. I don't want to hear. It's too gross. Please don't. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. <laughs> Make it quick. I got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man, never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, everyone of them. Don't like that camera zoom. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers mm -hmm. and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell. Begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. What did they hope to gain by torturing? It was something a about pain breaking down mental. Sorry if I skipped that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. Who used me. That's oh, me. whoa! That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. God damn it, now that I'm listening to fucking Jack too, her long O's have like a like a rattle in them. God damn it. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into or Maybe I was just that bitch. recording session. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pravia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Jack, you can't hang on to this. It's messing you up. Yeah, great advice, but I've been messed up for years. No thanks to them. The only way I put that place behind me is to watch it burn. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need, I need it! <laughs> Alright. What can we do for you, Commander? How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? When he got the Cerberus. Thanks, Mom. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is scary. Will do, Commander. Will do, Commander. I don't know. Oh wait, we gotta go see the fish. That's the end of this episode. <laughs> we talked to Jack, which means our journal's updated. So Jack and the dossier. Antali Sora. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, that quick fucking load. Eat my fish! Oh my god, and it drops a little shit from the top. To show that I'm feeding them. Look at these fucking beautiful fish. And no, I don't want to look at that. I want to look at my space hamster. He's right there. <gasps> hey, buddy. <laughs> I can use the toilet. That's weird. Hmm. 
What is I can God damn it, okay. Drive it. Uh, anyway, anyway, sorry, sorry. Sound system, no. My casual appearance. It's gotta be that one still. Oh my god, the helmet! I like those. Oh, that's the shiniest one. I love it. Ah, oh, but I love the pink. There we go. That's a little bit better green. There we go. Perfect. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching Pretentious Attention. I'll see you guys next time. Sorry, this was literally another 26-minute episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.